Alright guys, this is Home Field Advantage and I'm Brian. Just a quick update on the Greg Paulus situation. Yesterday I posted a video concerning the point guard from Duke uh, was at a workout with the Green Bay Packers. Uh, they are interested in him playing quarterback for them. Uh, obviously a backup for Aaron Rodgers. Well, today's reports are that Paulus is also looking into playing for Michigan. He's going to continue his college career playing football. So he's going from basketball at Duke to playing football at Michigan. So he could be transferring from Duke to Michigan. Uh, Greg Paulus said he wanted to play Duke football, but they already have Thaddeus Lewis as their starting quarterback. And from what I've heard, Michigan probably has an opening and I, he'd probably do well under uh, Rodriguez's read option scheme I believe is what it's called. Uh, from what I've heard Duke runs more of a pro style system so he hasn't thrown a football since 2004 when he was in high school in New York so he'd probably do better to be in a college system rather than a pro style system also, the NFL schedule came out yesterday, and I liked what I saw. Um, as a Dallas Cowboys fan, I posted in a previous video, I really like our, our chances. Um, obviously, six games out of the whole year are divisional rivals, the Eagles, the Giants, and the Redskins, and those are always tough on both ends. If you're a Giants, Eagles, or Redskins fan, you know that Dallas is a pretty tough team to play, and if you're a Dallas fan, you know those three teams are tough to play, and you have to play them twice a year. NFC East is the toughest division in the NFL, no doubt. But taking a look at the Bears and their new quarterback, Jay Cutler, they've got the easiest schedule. If you look at it, if the teams are playing and their wins, losses from last season, they've got the easiest schedule. So maybe that's a good thing for Bears fans and Jay Cutler for the first year in. So we'll see where it goes. Today is the last day of the NBA regular season. After that, we'll have the exact playoff matchups, and then tomorrow I'll let you guys know what I think. For those of you whose team is in the playoffs, congratulations. Um, good luck to them, of course. If they're not, get ready for the draft. I mean, that's really all you can do. If your team's lost, the draft is all you really got left to hope for. But now that you got Blake Griffin and Hashim Thabit, Tyler Hansborough, there's lots to look forward to. So, by myself, as many of you know, I'm a Houston Rockets fan. Uh, they're playing the Dallas Mavericks tonight. Uh, if they win, we get home court advantage for the playoffs. Uh, we also win the Southwest Division. So it's a pretty important game. There's going to be a viewing party. That I'll be at. It's at the Hooters at 1960 and 45. If you know where that's at, and you can make it, come out. You'll see Rockets Power Dancers, and you'll probably see me in my Scholar shirt, my hat. Um, so, if you see me, come say hi. Alright, to wrap things up, just tell me what you guys think. Should Paulus go straight into the NFL, try his luck there, or should he go ahead and transfer to Michigan and see how he fares there? And also, let me know about your favorite NFL team schedule. Did the NFL screw you over this year? Uh, do you have an easy schedule, or you know, is this your year? You know, is this the year that your team becomes the next Arizona Cardinals and makes it to the Super Bowl? All right, guys, take it easy, and uh, get ready for that video tomorrow.